Hey everyone. Right, new week. I'm going back to basics. After all those layers last week, it, it was like, right, strip it back. Back to what I'm comfortable with, which is um, not a minimalist theme, although, but less of the light, less of the frilly bits, I think, is what I'm trying to say. My basics. I thought I'd, I'd run through some of my basics. Just so. So I have here two lots, two different ones, simply because I bought one and then thought, saw, I'm a sucker for, for buying things that I see people using. And so I thought I'd try it and actually it's really good. Right, this Art Basics Finnabar one, heavy gesso. It is, it's thick. It's like a cream, but it can be watered down so you wouldn't necessarily need to have this one which is liquid but on the other hand this one gives almost total coverage if you want it to um, yeah all the all my mucky fingerprints on it so I'm lucky I have the two gel medium I love gel medium I can use this as glue for decoupage for anything like that um, I use it for sticking my flowers down, dried flowers. I use it for uh, tissues like decoupage. I use it for um, what are they called? Um, collages. I've got two different ones again. So a gel, which is that's quite a thick one, but it's not the thickest. You get some which are like um, texture paste and can be used as texture paste. I just happen to like these. If I had to have one, I suppose I would have the thicker one. Um, uh, a fluid one, a liquid one. I like this one. So that one probably I would use for sticking down collages and that one I would use for going over the top. A solvent ink pad, a waterproof ink pad. Um, I picked out jet black. I've got quite a few now. I'm been buying them over over time you can stamp anything with it and it's waterproof so you can paint it and do whatever you like over the top of it any kind of as long as it's a solvent based one and not a pigment based one it's what it should be waterproof my go-to glue art glitter I normally buy them in the big the big ones so that is uh, eight fluid ounces and then I just decant them into the little bottles simply because I find these easier to use. Dodgy fingers. So for me, that's that's brilliant. That does the job. And a distressing vintage photo I've picked out because that's the one, as you can tell from the top, that's the one I use probably the most. And you can do so much with them. A couple of fine liners. These again are archival ink, so they are waterproof. Uh, I actually bought a set and I picked out the two I use the most. So O2, it says on the cap, so O2 and O8. So O2 is 0.3 of a mil, which if I draw on a piece is quite fine. And I love doodling, that's why I've got these. And 08 is half a mil, which is thicker. So I love doodling, so I have those. And then book pages, those for me are, are just, well, so I've got, these are ones I picked up from charity shops. So this is out of a children's uh, encyclopedia, this one. I love the smell. Of old old book paper and it is normally quite good quality and then different sizes different fonts and that one is quite big that one is small and yellow and that one is more black and white music paper I've been lucky enough to find in charity shops again I found a, a charity shop that was selling I bought five books of music paper I think they were about a pound each and it was like whoa 
Oh, and that is really tiny writing. So those, for me, are my are my go-to things. So I thought we'd start off. I move all my stuff out of the way. Doing something with them. There we go. Right. I was tearing off the backing of some corrugated card. I like corrugated card as well. <laughs> it's cheap, it's cheerful, and there's normally loads of it from my Amazon boxes. And this was actually the backing sheet from it, so I thought, oh, quite like that. I like the lines on it, I like the, it's actually quite good quality. So I thought we'd do a, a couple of note cards or, they're not really tags as such, are they? To go in a journal? I can't think. Brain won't let me work at the moment. So I'm going to put some paper on. So I've got some shiny paper and I've got some not so shiny paper. That's the other thing about these old books is they are, um, the pages are really thick. I'm just going to tear those bits off so I know where I'm going with it. Oh, no, that one's a bit narrow, so maybe we leave it and just sort of tear down. I quite like the contrast as well. I love using craft paper because I, I love the contrast that it gives you for um, different finishes. Let's get rid of those. That's going to be my first one. Um, let's go for this one. I was having a. Whenever I rip pages out of a book, I always, I always have a look and. Oops, that one's gone a bit off. I like to have a look and see what I'm actually ripping out. I can get all of that on there. And um, it's so sweet. There's a whole big section in the encyclopedia dedicated to um let's try and level this up a bit. Dedicated to virtue. I know I think if I was to speak to some of the kids I have come through our house, what virtue was, they'd go uh, which is quite a shame, but such innocence, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Let's finish that one off properly. if we can actually tear this and paper has a, a weave like a warp if you like like with um when you have fabric it has a definite um a definite way that the grain runs and paper is exactly the same so some bits will tear really easy some bits won't okay let's stick some of this on now what i'm going to do is the idea is to sit them on I'm going to put some gesso over the top and then I'm going to um, stamp it. Simple, easy. Oh, that's the other thing. Cheap and cheerful paintbrushes. I like cheap and cheerful. Okay, let's grab some card. I had some new stamps to, yesterday. You just love it when you, you have to order them. and uh, So I'm using the the thick gesso, the gel, as you can see. So, yes. Let's put that on. I can always pull off 
bits if they are sticking over the top. Now what I'm also going to do is just go over the top of it. Because it's it has then gives you a very forgiving nature for um for putting gesso over the top. This is turning into a bit of a lesson, so I do apologise if that's not what you wanted to to hear. Right, let's do this one. Mm. I like that grainy bit. I'm going to leave that on the back. So do the smooth bit. It's a very good glue, as you can tell. It's stuck. Let's put that out of the way. Right, I am just going to dry these off. Right. That emphasises the grain. That one's bent that way. That one's bent that way. There is a way of telling, but I can never remember how it goes. Flatten them out and out. There we go. Okay. That's still a bit damp. One at a time. Um, I forgot to put some water. I'll just take some out of my squirty bottle. gonna use the heavy gesso. So I'm gonna wet my brush, dip it in and hope this works. That's it. I'm sure it was in the last video um, or one of the last videos. The shabby sheet ones but I said because I'd got that medium over the top it will slide off if you worry you've put too much on and give it a go in a minute so if I wet my brush will it ah oh, there you go see yep it will come off if I actually want a bit more than I want to be, so for me I want to be able to see the writing but I also want to cover it up if that makes sense I'm hoping it does a bit more water just to spread it around Covered it up enough looking at that camera. I uh, I do err on the side of caution for these. I don't want it to look all the same. What I'm trying to do is just get it so it's blanked out some places 
and not others. Right, I think that will do for that one. And then this one which insists I'm bending up. Okay, so we have wet brush and we have gesso. I might leave some of this one. Or maybe I won't. like that one so it's got white not splodges but there are some parts which are a lot less opaque or the more opaque than others should I say does that look like it will sticking to me yep okay I need to dry this one off as well now, so back in a moment. <clears throat> okay, those are both reasonably dry. This will probably feel a little damp, but not. They're okay to touch. So, I have some favourite stamps. I always seem to use those. Um, can't seem for looking so the, my new favorites the big flowers that I've used before penny black stamps slapstick and these are inka do stamp inka dinka do I don't know what that one's called uh, that doesn't say what those ones are called unfortunately So I'm going to go over these now with, well, one of them, anyway. Um, let's leave the white one. I'm going to go over this one, so the craft one. really going to different it that that's actually a distress oxide this one but I'm I haven't tried it with normal distress ones but I love the effect and because it's on over matte medium it has or even gesso it, um, as I've got down here, it's over gesso, it hasn't soaked in, so therefore it can come off quite easily. I love the effects of that. Okay, right, leave that one to dry properly for a moment. Now let's do this one. So, I've got my pen. Am I going to have... Birds on a line, so I've got my bird. Well, I've got two of them. Two of them on this stump. So, start off with that one there. And the idea is to go across. Well, that's what I'm thinking anyway. So, I'm sort of going to draw 
align. I don't want. I want it to be a bit. Could almost be a tree branch actually. Yeah, quite like that. So that's uh, the half a mil pen. 0.5 uh, 08. That pen. Now I've got my bird. I've got my black ink. Make sure I get my bird the right way up. Yeah, I'm just going to put one there. Uh, and one there. Let's just clean that off before I get it all over my fingers. And then we've got the one going the other way. So there is one there. And let's one there. Ah, come on, one in the middle. <coughs> okay, so I have my birds on a line. Wipe my, wipe my stamp off, and then because that looks a little. Ooh, a little empty in the corners, isn't it? So, this is off the same stamp set. So, we will have that one. Actually, let's put it right up in the corner. I like that. Yep. Now we could just sort of spin the stamp around. Oh, and have a bit of a bit of a bush going on down there. It just sort of balances it all up, doesn't it? Um, can we make use of the last bit of ink? Right. <clears throat> okay. I like that. And um, this one I am just gonna go around the edges. Just be aware if you've used putting this on like I have over the top of gesso. The ink might not dry quite as quick as it would do if it was on plain paper. So let's add a bit, a bit more brown to the corner where there is nothing. And there we go, one large note card. This is my idea of fun. <laughs> oh dear. I'm guessing by now if it's not your ship switched off. Oh dear me. Right, let's take this one. Get rid of those, I think. These penny black stamps, I have to say, I've... Uh, yeah, I really do rate them. Okay, let's... Well, that... No. Big one. Oh, blimey, this is so filthy. in the holes. Hmm. We'll see what it comes out like. Uh, am I on camera? Yes, sort of. 
sorry. I'm going to put this at an angle. I want it there. Oh no, that was okay. <clears throat> now I'm sure you could if you wanted to. Or just get some coming off the corner. Like that. I would normally, well, I do go over these with baby wipes. I don't use any other. That was the other bit of um, essential kit, baby wipes. Now I am going to go back round because I took a load of it off when I was, when I sprayed water onto it, so. What you could do, I've got these felt tips. Um, I've got cheap felt tips and I've got more expensive felt tips, but they are felt tips. I quite like that one. This is actually a, a Tombow one, but I can see that my ink is still a little damp. So I'm just going to give it a quick blast. Okay, yep, that's all dry. You could just go in and add a bit of colour. Doesn't have to be precise. Right, there we go. <clears throat> Two quite different, if I get rid of my, so you can see what I've got. So two very different tags, ish. Different looks, same style, minimal supplies. So all I've used in this is a felt tip, a marker pen, black ink and stamps and scrapbook pages so if I zoom in you get to have a proper look there we go all right brilliant hope you've enjoyed that I'll speak to you all tomorrow bye